It's winter now, but not too long from now, these trees will begin to bloom and they will be providing shade and cooling for these yards and the neighborhood. The cycle happens every year. But now is a good time to discuss the importance of proper trimming and reliable electric service. It's hard to remember when a neighborhood like this was first being developed. The area was growing and families were moving in. And along with that came the planting of trees. They started out small, but over time, they have developed into a beautiful canopy that provides shade, air filtration, and beautiful yards. Trees are something that we admire and quite honestly take for granted. But occasionally, if not properly taken care of, these same trees can be the source of problems for not only your home, but others down the line. In the next few minutes, we'll talk about how your utility company and other groups can help you select the right tree for the right place, and then properly trim and maintain it. With just a little planting and proper pruning over a few years, your yard and neighborhood will look beautiful, but the wrong tree in the same location could make your lights go out on a limb. As homeowners, we want our yards to look pleasing, not only to us, but our neighbors too. And when selecting the type of tree to plant, there are several things to consider. It doesn't take long for a small tree to grow into a large shade producing tree. And because of that, one of the first things you need to do before you even look for a tree is simply look up. Utility companies position poles throughout their service area to reliably deliver electricity to homes and businesses. You might find phone, cable TV, and other services on these poles, since co-locating services helps to reduce the number of poles needed. Just in case you ever wondered, Here's how lines are typically located on a utility pole. The lower lines, generally around 18 feet off the ground, will be for communication services like phone and cable TV. The next set of lines above the last communication cable will be electric conductors. The higher the wire or conductor is above the ground, the more voltage will be traveling down it. For the reliability of electric service and your safety, Keep a safe distance away from any line. If tree limbs come within a specific distance of the electric conductors, your utility company has the authority to trim your tree to meet those clearances. Those clearances are placed to protect not only you, but all the customers that electric utilities serve. And by planting the right tree in the right place, you help minimize the potential tree limbs have of coming in contact with power lines. Every utility is going to have their own clearance distance, and you should call them or look on their website to find that information. At City Utilities of Springfield, it's a minimum of 10 feet below or either side of the power lines, and no overhanging limbs above the lines. Maybe this will show it better. Notice how there are no limbs or trees around the primary service power lines. It's all clear, a minimum of 10 feet below and 10 feet either side of the lines and there is nothing hanging over the lines. You may think of electric lines as being overhead, and for the most part, that's true. But when possible, utility companies try to bury or underground the electric service. Even with underground services, the electrical power we all rely on will at some point travel to your neighborhood on overhead lines, on its journey from the power plant to your home. So making sure tree limbs stay clear of lines helps to reduce the chance of a power outage. Utility companies spend countless hours and millions of dollars trimming trees, but tree limbs alone don't create power outages. Power outages can be traced to three main causes, weather, wildlife, or accidents, none of which we have much control over. So we focus our attention and yours on the things we can control, and that begins with the right tree in the right place. With the help of your local garden center or by researching on the internet, you can quickly narrow down your tree selection. But here are a few tips to consider. Know how tall and wide the tree can grow. Trees that will be 25 feet or taller at maturity should be planted at least 25 feet away from overhead utility structures. Avoid planting where the limbs could cause damage to your home or others. Avoid planting near chimneys. Consider the neighbor's trees when planting yours. 
Plant the tree where the roots will not disturb drainage pipes or other underground utilities. There's a lot to consider before you plant a tree. And one of the main things to remember is to have the underground utilities located. Remember that trees not only grow tall, but the root systems will grow out too. Missouri state law requires that before you dig, even if it's a tree or shrub, you need to call 1-800-DIG-RIGHT or 811 and have a locator service identify what's underground. Make this call at least two days prior to when you want to dig. This can help avoid costly repair bills. It's not unheard of for someone to dig in the wrong spot and interrupt phone or cable service. A simple call will help you avoid some very serious and potentially dangerous situations. Member utilities will have locators placed to let you know where you can safely excavate for planning and other activities. The locate flags and markings will indicate the area where an underground utility service is located. Each type of service will have a different color-coded flag to indicate its presence. For more information about Missouri One Call, visit this website. Keep in mind that you cannot dig within two feet on either side of that marking. When planting near underground equipment, plants must be three feet from the sides and at least 10 feet away from the front. Once you've made the selection of a tree, determined that it's the right tree for the right place, all you've got left to do is plant it and watch it mature. There are still several things that you need to know as a homeowner and utility customer. CU and other utilities will trim tree limbs away from electric lines to provide reliable electric service for all customers. That distance varies and is determined by the amount of voltage that lines carry. High voltage lines, like the ones running from substations and power stations, need a minimum clearance of 15 feet below and on either side of the line. There can be no overhanging limbs. Primary voltage lines, or the lines you more commonly see in the neighborhoods, need a minimum of 10 feet on either side or below and no limbs hanging above the lines. Some neighborhoods will have electric service lines that run from the primary line to the home. Homeowners are responsible for keeping limbs and growth away from this line. But for safety reasons, it's strongly advised that you get a professional tree service to do this work. While we can't recommend tree trimming companies to do this work, we will work with them to make sure all safety guidelines and trimming distances are followed. For those reasons, when you hire a tree trimming company, it's a good idea to let your utility company know if you'll be trimming near power lines. In fact, the Power Line Safety Act requires workers and equipment to stay at least 10 feet away from overhead power lines. Call CU at 863-9000 and our crews will provide assistance. In some instances, it may be better to disconnect electric services to your home or business in order to ensure everyone's safety while trimming is being done. Trimming trees is not without controversy. In fact, it's probably one of the most controversial tasks done by a utility. CU uses professional arborists to perform tree trimming. They adhere to professional standards that are recognized by the International Society of Arboriculture. These standards ensure that any cuts occur at locations causing the least amount of damage to a tree. This will allow the tree to properly recover and heal from the pruning. The intent is to remove branches in such a way as to promote future growth away from the utility structure. The steps that CU and other utilities take to trim trees are necessary to help provide reliable electric service to your home or business every day. If you have questions, please call our arborists at 863-9000. And should you experience a power outage at your home or business, call 1-888-863-9001 to report your outage. A technician will respond as soon as possible to assist you. We know that you realize that neither you or CU can prevent wildlife, accidents, or especially weather from interfering with electric service. But by taking the steps to make sure that there is adequate clearance from tree limbs, we can do our part to keep your lights from going out on a limb.